The continent of Europe continues to go downhill as the European Union bosses are now backing the ideas coming from Emmanuel Macron to create essentially a European empire. Yes, we do live in a clown world. Macron, we talked about him uh, recently, well this week actually, about uh, his new idea to become the new world police. And he wants to use the EU as a mechanism to become the new world police. He wants to replace America. And I'm not even defending America being the world police, but that's a whole different issue. But they're saying that, well, let's send Macron and Ursula von der Leyen uh, to China, meet with the Chinese, and somehow in Beijing, bring up these ideas. He also went to the Netherlands uh, a couple of days ago, and we talked about uh, his uh, speech that was uh, crashed by protesters who were heckling him, saying what happened to French democracy and all that. He's basically come out to say that we, we need to strengthen the European Union uh, and the EU Defence Union, which is the EU army. He wants to expand the European well, you, the European project in general, which we call it imperialism, essentially, at this point, because not only they have the European Union, Macron has also created this new European political community, which is EU 2.0, and they are trying to get the UK to join it as well. The UK attended the first summit of before the creation of it to see what it's all about. And I really hope our British politicians eventually wake up and somebody stop them before they completely sell out to this new European project entity. Now Macron's got a problem. He said he wants to get closer to China, obviously, and he wants to get EU to get closer to China because they are so afraid of what's going on in the East because the Eastern globalists, with, with the help of the Chinese and the Iranians and all the others, they are creating their own empire and they want to, they want to become the world police as well. So the European Union, then the new mentality and the Macron, what they have is if you can't beat them, just join them. And that is absolutely dangerous for the future of the so-called Western democracies that we still have a little bit of it left. Now we have the European Union actually backing him. They, why are, for example, the heads of the European Parliament, European Council and the Commission itself are going out there and saying, yeah, I think we need to listen to Macron. Imagine if an idea comes out of Hungary or Poland, for example. Because they are still members of the EU, right? Member states must be heard, they say. No, there is no level playing field. Because if Germany or France, for example, kick off about something, the EU listens. If smaller member states, like Poland or Hungary, or even Italy these days, kick off about something, they either get ignored or they get sanctioned. That is the problem with the EU as, as, a, as a mechanism. So they, the bosses have said that uh, there has been a leap forward on strategic autonomy compared to several years ago. On the issue of the relationship with the United States, it's clear that there can be nuances and sensitivities around the table of the European Council. Some European leaders wouldn't say things the same way that Emmanuel Macron did, but I think quite a few really think like Emmanuel Macron. So the obsession with the, the European globalists to, to go against uh, the American globalism is going to create this massive division amongst the whole of the international community. Because just like how we always say the left always ends up eating itself, now we have the same thing with globalists. The American globalists are clashing with the European globalists because the European globalists want to get closer to China and Easterners and, and Iran. And the Americans, obviously, are control freaks. They still want to control the whole world and be the world police and be the beacon of hope and freedom and democracy, ironically. So they can't even unify anymore. It's no longer the days of Obama and the European Union being best friends and even Obama coming to London during the EU referendum and warning us not to vote for Brexit, saying that you will be back of the line or back of the queue, whatever they said. And really, really bad. But now... Things are changing because Macron and Ursula von der Leyen, they went to Beijing. They met with President Xi. They were all best friends. They want to keep him tamed because they think they can, they can manage him. They think they can control him. But in reality, they are selling out to the CCP. Do you really think you can manipulate President Xi? 
Do you think uh, uh, Xi Jinping is stupid? He can be controlled by you, amateur politicians? The guy is a tyrant. He's smart. He's intelligent. He's been, he's been completely, he doesn't really care about human life and values. He, if he wants to control you, he would do it. And you're allowing him to go to Central Africa and many other places to influence while you're too busy debating toilets and unicorn rainbows and all that nonsense. This is the downfall of Europeanism and the whole of the Western civilization if we don't stop it right now. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.